Uh, we have um, an international business. We, we host that as a concentration where students are interested in working in international businesses. Uh, we have a human resource management concentration where we're training people for jobs in human resource uh, positions and organizations. And then the third concentration, which is sort of my passion, is entrepreneurship. We're preparing students not just to start their own businesses, but we're also preparing them with a mindset about entrepreneurship so that they are there in a position of leadership where they're recognizing opportunities, creating value, helping the organization capture value. Faculty of the Management and Organization program integrate experiential learning into their curriculum, ensuring student understanding and success. Guest lecturers, workshops, Innovative class projects and community engagement programs are just a few ways students are able to put classroom theory into real-world practice. Whether it's my colleague who took uh, a group of students and had them work with a not-for-profit, helping them organize and manage a fundraising drive this past fall, or uh, me where I have students competing in business plan competitions and uh, creating business plans and sometimes creating businesses, and we do that in the context of courses. Yeah, so, so I was lucky enough to take an online course uh, this past winter. I think the most productive and uh, even motivational aspect of it was we had a, a weekend, two long days, really, you know, information learned a lot. It's how to pitch a business, and in the end we just presented it to all the faculty and uh, you know, gave us the pros and cons. We learned, I learned a lot through it. I and most of my colleagues now run very tightly integrated, blended courses. For example, we have one of the pioneers of a CAPSIM business simulation. We have our seniors from all of the majors now uh, working in this elaborate simulation to make their business uh, succeed in the marketplace. And they get to see by every decision they make how well they do round after round. Drawing on their wealth of experience in the business world, faculty are also able to bring personal, real-world knowledge into the classroom. When students hear, for example, that I've started seven businesses and maybe five or six of them failed, it, it does two things. One, it humanizes me in a way that's different than if I'm just lecturing and going through a, a stories. But the other thing is that they know that I've been through what they've been through or what they hope to go through. So there's some validity to my experiential um, stories that, it, that I attach to, to theory. Just like the, the lifestyle of the classroom, it's more laid back. Um, you know, people can, you know, they can talk, raise their hand, professors call on you. They go, they go not slow, but at a good pace where they're making sure everyone's you know, understanding the material before they move on. Outside of the classroom, the Management and Organization Program has formed strong bonds with Connecticut-based businesses that provide for rich internship opportunities, giving students the chance to network outside the walls of the university. I'm very proud of the type of outreach we do with major companies. Travelers has been a close partner of ours for eight years, and over the last eight years, we've helped hundreds of students with getting jobs at Travelers, some earning scholarships, and then we have a major program called Travelers Edge, uh, where we have helped now uh, over 15 students graduate and uh, start their careers at Travelers or in the industry. With this combination of experiential learning and industry involvement, many management and organization students find work right after graduation, stepping into corporate leadership positions, managerial roles, or even starting their own businesses. We're in the middle, the nexus. We are central to every sort of organization you can name, from Fortune 5 companies to brand new startups, you name it. We, we have it within 30 miles. So what you become, if, you, if we do our job right, is a person who can enter any organization, look to see where it's headed, find a way to be a source of the kind of knowledge that it'll take for that organization to keep moving forward and ultimately to succeed. 